Hello, Yogi Smoke Break Facebook group community. It has been a while since I've been on here and I'm happy to be back with an affirmation that storms clear paths for new opportunities. Storms clear paths for new opportunities. Um, so, so relevant for me as recently, I've had a lot of things that I consider storms, um, but I have clarity now and hopeful opportunities. My storms came in the form of things like a relationship ending and a job ending, but I have, oh, there are so many things I am doing now that I would have not done had my circumstances been the same as a couple months ago. So, um, gosh, all these great new things, like I'm networking a lot more, I'm working on my website, and teaching online, I'm working on a mindfulness course, and I, w I will say that there's so many times where I'm like, ah, what is happening? But I am grateful that from all my emotional intelligence training and very supportive friends and a lot of awesome personal development resources, like I have the understanding that new opportunities are coming because of the storms. And so please join me in this cleansing, ah, getting rid of the old, and welcoming the new. So first to start off with, we're going to do just a few cleansing breaths in which we inhale and exhale and inhale the arms up. Exhale, palms facing forward. Inhaling up higher this time with the shoulders. Flipping palms out. Exhaling. Inhaling up. Higher. Flipping the palms. Exhaling. One last inhaling. Exhaling. Okay, and in yoga class last week, this was um, a move that really served me. Um, we are literally pushing out the bad things or anything we wish to get rid of that doesn't serve us anymore. So with each exhale, we are going to do a powerful can cannon breath out through the mouth while pushing the hand forward. So it looks like this. And join me for a minute of this. Really, the more powerful the breath, the more powerful the movement. do that for however long serves you. And now um, one of my yoga instructors, Julie McEwen, um, does this with students of all ages, including children, when she's teaching. And we're going to do a settle the risk mindful minute, um, which you can also find on my YouTube channel. Great for all ages if you have been typing for too long or writing for too long and your hands have been like, this or this, stretch out your wrists, get the blood flowing. So we're gonna start with hands out, go away, go away, go away, go away, okay? Go away, go away, and then come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And then chop, 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 chop. And then by your mouth as if something spicy, literally, spicy, 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 and then crazy, moving your wrists as much as can serve you. We'll do this one more time. Real. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Chop, 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 chop. Spicy, 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 spicy. Crazy. Okay, now that we have the blood flowing, let's do a couple more detox moves. This is one of my favorites, which is the Miracle Bend, in which we lock the thumbs together. 
and like a lot of yoga moves, we inhale as the body goes up and we exhale as the body goes down. What I love about the Miracle Bend is that you were literally bending out negative energy, anxiety, and depression. So if you are sitting in a chair like me, just move so you're sitting towards the end of the chair so you have enough room to move back. And we are going to inhale the arms up, arching back as far as we can go, exhaling forward powerfully. Inhaling up. Arching back, back, bending out any negative energy, holding for as long as you can and is comfortable. Exhaling forward. And one more, inhaling up. Holding as long as it can. And then slowly exhaling forward. All right, and we'll just end with a very short version of Ego Eradicator, which is a Kundalini yoga, very common meditation to get rid of the ego. So, and that voice inside that sometimes doesn't serve us. So in order to do this, let me move more of this way. We are going to have the hands so that they are up in about mm, 30 degrees. Um, and as we do this, we're going to have the fists closed, the thumbs up. And we're going to do the rapid breath of fire, which is exhaling out through the nose so that the inhale is automatic. And normally in Kundalini Yoga, we do this for about three minutes as this is a yogi smoke break. And it's adaptive yoga. You can do this for as long or as short, uh, short of a time as whatever serves you. Um, we'll do a lot shorter, continue on with whatever it is that is comfortable for you. And the arms are about lined up with the ears. There's a tendency to move forward or backward as we're holding for a long time, but if we focus on the breath, that helps us have more physical control. So with the arms up, close the eyes and start with a powerful cannon breath out through the nose. And yes, the arms are supposed to tingle. You can continue on with that for however long you can, but if you feel like you are done, stretch the arms up overhead, open up the hands, reach and exhale the arms down. Congratulate yourself on your honest effort. And please remember that storms clear paths for new opportunities and Thank yourself for taking this time to be calm and present because as we are calm and present, we are able to radiate that to others. Thank you so much.